Hey, Sue. What do you think about taking a trip to England sometime before the end of the year? Wow! That would be great. I think that's a wonderful idea. Fish and chips, traveling on one of those big red buses, going to a live soccer match, Big Ben, the Beatles. I'll have to brush up on my knowledge about the royal family and British history. All those things sound amazing. Do you realize how small England is? It's comparable to the size of Alabama and the United States. England is 74 times smaller than the U.S. I had no clue that it was so tiny compared to America. Wow! That does seem pretty small. Should we pack our own coffee? I know that people in England are primarily tea drinkers. I once read that more than 165 million cups of tea are drunk in England each day. That's nuts! I don't mind a cup of tea every now and then, but I'm a coffee lover through and through. Yeah, good thinking. Let's pack some. Just to be on the safe side. What places are at the top of your list? Oh, wow. That's a tough question. Stonehenge, Windsor Castle. Of course, I want to visit the capital, London. It's wild to think it's like 2,000 years old. So much history and so many famous people. Shakespeare, the Beatles, Princess Diana. Yeah, it's really incredible, isn't it? It would be really neat if we could get tickets to see a musical or play at the London Theatre. I think it would also be cool to drive from England to France in the underwater tunnel. Driving in England? Oh, no. They drive on the opposite side of the road, don't they? I don't know how confident I would be driving there. Speaking of underwater tunnels, I wonder if we will see any dolphins during our travels. Did you know the Queen owns all the dolphins in British waters? She also owns all the whales, sturgeons, and porpoises. It dates back to the 12th century or something. Bizarre, though, don't you think? Yeah. That is pretty interesting. I am also truly fascinated with the history of England. It would be nice to visit a museum and learn more. If I remember correctly, England's bloodiest war was the English Civil War in the 17th century. It was responsible for the death of 10% of the male population. That's insane. I need to freshen up on my history before we go. I am so excited. There are so many different things to do there. So many places to see. Not so much great food to try, though. <laughs>